many of you are here? I kept hearing this noise and I'm freaking out. And here my silverware was moving on their own in the drawer. So there's no reason why the foot steps should be running from one side to the other. I hear you. Can you touch me? Can you please give us one sign that you... <laughs> Jesus. Okay guys, I don't know if you heard it. There was a, a thump right here in this corner. I hope you heard it. Was that you thumping? There it is again. There it is again. Something's knocking on the door. Tell me what this is. Oh, yeah. That's what they say you do. Yeah. I just heard hissing. I just heard hissing, but I don't know where it came from. It's like it was. Everywhere, but nowhere. I heard like, uh, almost like a snarl or something. Yeah, yeah I yeah. did. I did hear. Something's not happy. In they're the... they're literally trapped. Okay guys, so as you know, we are heading back to Gales for a third time and hopefully the last time. Um, things are a little bit different this time. Uh, I really believe this thing has been threatening us into not going back. For instance, uh, the day after Chris messaged me and told me that Gale want, needed us to go back because things were starting to happen, happen again. Um, the very next morning, uh, a bird flew into my window. A um, couple hours later, I was out picking my wife up at, at the camp, and as I was going through the woods, a black cat came out of nowhere, went across the road and back down into the woods. I mean, it could be coincidence, but it made, you know. And then that night, uh, I watched a mug, a coffee mug, slide across. A little bit a few inches off of my uh, from behind my sink and fall into uh, my sink um, that night I went to bed and I woke up with this scar and uh, the funny thing is the scar didn't hurt me um, I couldn't feel it it wasn't itchy it wasn't burning but it was there as a matter of fact I still have it hasn't healed if you can see it right there it hasn't gone away, but um, this was just within 24 hours of Chris messaging me about Gail. So uh, him today, he was hit with all kinds of pain, headaches, upset stomach. Um, it was ju it's just like that it doesn't want us back. It knows we're coming, doesn't want us back. Well, it's too bad we're coming back. We're on the way there right now, and uh, so let's do this. Ashes to ashes. So we're back guys at Gales for the third and hopefully the final time this we get to figure what figure out what's going on here and uh, so there's Gail. Hello. She's been waiting patiently for us and uh, we are back. So we're gonna head downstairs and uh, you'll see guys um, we do have a new toy. We do have, uh, we put together our own SLS, so we'll be using that. I know we said no big fancy gadgets, but I mean, we have to grow. You know, if we don't grow, people will surpass us. So uh, we do have an SLS. Hope you guys enjoy that. And if we catch anything, we will post it. So we're good now. Okay.
Well, I do believe that it all started when I was about 11. And we played with that Ouija board. I broke the chain. Never played with the Ouija board, never. Every time something would happen, I'd get clawed, have my hair pulled, wake up with marks on me, bite marks. I moved to New Brunswick. It followed me there, whatever I'm dealing with. And then I left there and I come back. And I move in this place and it all started again. Okay, guys, we're back downstairs, and uh, there is our SLS can, which I have my light on me right now, so it's probably not going to pick me up very well. Here I am. I hope that's me. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to rely on that. Also, Chris brought the ball back, so hopefully something will move that ball this time around. We used it in the last video in the dollhouse. Um, didn't catch anything moving, so hopefully it's different here. Now, one thing you might notice that's a little different is over there where the weight bench is, um, used to be that room that Chris felt very uncomfortable in. And one of the reasons why I think we're here is because a um, friend of Gail's tore down the wall to that room and that's what seemed she said after that that's what seemed to start um, activity back up like the cheese garrido that was thrown at her from her kitchen table her son's girlfriend with the bite mark on her leg um, Gail woke up this morning with quite the bruise and she said it's, it really hurts and it all seemed to start back up after that room was removed. But I have a feeling that uh, maybe that's where something something was hiding. And Chris felt it. Chris felt it strong. I feel everything upstairs. Chris feels it down here. And we do believe that something was hiding in that corner. And now, cannot hide. Isn't that right? Now guys, while we were setting up the SLS, <clears throat> me and Chris heard a stone sound like a rock or something being thrown over in this area. And uh, Gail even heard it upstairs. She thought it was us. So something was thrown over here. We weren't downstairs for five minutes. I just plugged in the SLS camera and it started or we heard the heard the, the rock being thrown at us. So is there anything you'd like to say to us tonight? I know you didn't want, want us to be here. I know the little signs you were giving me, big signs actually, the bird, the window, the cat, the scratch. That was all within 24 hours of agreeing to come back. Anybody down here that wants to talk? Um. Did you hear that? Right behind me, footsteps. It sounded squishy. There was footsteps right here behind me, guys. If I catch that on camera, I'll point it out. Touching. You touch me? Just a tickle? No. I'm gonna walk around. Yeah. 
push this down. You have anything to say? I want you to speak into this app. Give us your voice. ball on the floor that I brought? Uh, if you can, get the energy together to move it around to show us you're here. Just give it a push. Even a nudge, make it wiggle. Spirits in the last house didn't, uh, I don't believe they had the power to make that move, but maybe, maybe you don't either. you could to uh, keep us from coming here tonight. Now you're going to hide? You know this isn't the end. We are going to bring somebody back here to get rid of you again. You have no right you have no right to treat Gail this way. Or the family. Or the family. Or anybody. see you guys know the deal anything you guys might see let us know 
You guys get better eyes than we do. Okay, guys, now we're going to use an app. Scanning start. A new one called uh, Paravoice. Start of scanning. And I really like this app. And uh, this is kind of like the obvious. It'll tell you, it'll say a word in the bank and it'll show up so we don't have to guess what it's saying or try to figure out what it's saying. And if it doesn't pick stuff up, it just won't say anything. I've tested it numerous times. And if there's nothing there, it just stays quiet, kind of like it is now. Chris, or Chris is taking pictures, guys, if you see a flash. There's our SLS. Holy freaking horse. Like, massively. Really? Anything, like, significant that looks like it shouldn't be there? So we don't jump at just every orb. Hold on. You might be able to pick up as I'm taking a picture. Yeah, you can see that you can see them flying through, but they're not being captured with the flash. See that one? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna head upstairs. We'll see you as soon as we get there. About a week later, things were happening, so I went and I got a hold of Dave and Chris from Ashes to Ashes, and they were said, you know, willing to come and help me out, and they did help me out a big, a big time. I, they did everything, even like saged me, saged my house. They were awesome, and they are awesome still. So everything was fine for a while, and now I called Dave and Ash again from Ashes to Ashes, and they're back. So I contacted Dave and Chris. Um, the reason I contacted them is because I was in my kitchen a couple days ago doing dishes, and I had a cheese grater sitting on my kitchen table. Well, all of a sudden, that cheese grater decided to fly off my table, and if I hadn't ducked, I would have got it in the head. So, for those of you who don't think this is real, trust me and believe me, it is real. It's not a fun thing to do or go through. And another thing, stay away from a Ouija board for sure. <clears throat> I'm going to go back and forth between the portoplast and uh, necrophonic. Okay. Um, just in case if it doesn't say anything, then we're getting it on two different apps. Right. So we're using the Portal Plus this time and Necrophonic, like Chris just said. Just in case you're wondering why, it, uh, why we're switching here. Yeah. But we are upstairs now. This is where I'm always uncomfortable and nothing's different from any other time, guys. I am very uncomfortable here. It always feels like... Uh, it just feels like your whole chest is being compressed. Um, we have the ball back up here too. Yeah. Gail said that she felt like she was being choked this morning or last night? This morning. This morning when she got up. So, where's the ball? There's the ball. We brought it back up just to see if anything would happen up here. Now, I left the door open a little bit. see so it does not close on its own I want to see if uh, something does close it so I know you heard me and I know you know what I'm talking about so if you want to show your power to us if you want to scare us shut that door or do anything else in this room because we definitely know you're here in this room I don't want you to talk into this phone using this app to give you a voice tell us what you want
Where you at? Where you at in this room? Come out and talk. Trying to keep the ball in frame too. Come show yourself. Same, same voice over and over. I know you didn't go anywhere last time. So where you at now? My hand is hot. Come on, show me where you're at. You know, for all the threatening and the scare tactics that you tried to pull over the last few days. <coughs> And, and we show up in nothing, really. I don't think you have the power to move it at all. Neither do I. You're very disappointing, actually. Don't bother trying to scare us in the first place. If you're just going to cower when we show up. Come on, do something. Can't even play. Push the door closed. Maybe you're scared of us. And maybe you should be. If you're here, come sit beside me on the bed. You'd like to attack her on the bed. So come, come sit by the bed. Come sit on the bed. Again, you want to use your voice? You have an app so you can use your voice. Speak up. Sit next to me on the bed. I'll shut the door myself. Since you can't. Where are you at? Come on, you want to be big and strong. Attack a helpless woman in her bed. Come now. Okay, I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait to do this 
But uh, oh, yeah. I think it's time maybe to hit the shadows. Ah. Let's do that. Okay, now we can't see you. So you want to show yourself? And guys, what those reflections are is the SLS you can see. The, the dots on the wall. Come sit next to me on the bed. Where are you at? Are you scared? I'm just being so and sound like I said two men. Let's go back and check that. Mm -hmm. How many of you are left in this house? Let's see if that's the last one. Okay. Is there one upstairs and one downstairs? Yes. Yeah, it's still picking me up. Let's Chris. Chris. Sitting. One. Come sit down. No. Yes. Move the ball. Prove that you're here. You can use my energy to help move that ball. So far, I'm not impressed. You got the power to bite people and choke people and slap people, but we show up and you run and hide? Really? I don't blame you. Because we'll be back with the proper people. And this time, you will be gone. No following anybody home. No following me or Chris home. No more threats. You'll leave here. <coughs> One way or another, you're going to leave. So guys, we're going to do an EVP session. And once again, um, it's just a simple voice recorder. And this is going to be all uncut. We'll ask a couple questions. We'll play it back live, and uh, so you can see that we didn't edit or add anything. So we'll start now. So, is there anything you'd like to say to us? Because I know you're probably pissed off at us by now. Can you give us your name? Was that you that uh, made all the threats? The bird hit the window, the mug move at my house, the crows, the scar on my arm. Was that you that scratched my arm? Why are you so scared to leave this house? All right, you guys, I'm gonna stop it. I'm not gonna name it yet. I'm gonna play it back right now. Without the ads.
Here we go. So, is there anything you'd like to say to us? Because I know you're probably pissed off by this by now. Give us your name. Was that you that uh, made all the threats? The bird hit the window, the mug move at my house, the crows, the scar on my arm. Was that you that scratched my arm? so scared to leave this house. All right, go. Oh, well. I didn't hear anything, but I will listen to it closer at home. So, okay. We're going to hit the uh, back downstairs lights out. See you there. Say something. The hiss. No, say something. I wish it recorded. Sound like it's going get the hell out of me. Really? I gotta say that over oh. again. So, we were just told just now, before we come down here, guys, it's dark, I don't care. Like, I can't see nothing. But we were just told upstairs, um, Gail's son's girlfriend said that uh, just a couple nights ago, um, a friend came over and he locked up, shut the door, locked it up tight upstairs. Anyway, they all sat and listened to the front door unlock, the deadbolt unlock, and the door slowly opened and no one was there. Well, I'm gonna put this over my shoulder because I just felt something. I just felt something weird back here. It felt like something like <laughs> tried to get under the back of my shirt. Go. Oh, I got shivers. Did you just touch me? Is that all you're gonna do? back here as many times as we need to, you know. Why? Because we want to report and keep you right here. I just seen a little light right in front of my eyes. You see it? Yeah. Right in front of my eyes. It was like right here. Is that how you're going to show yourself? Or just a little ball of light? to stay away, you better do something to show us. Or show yourself. Feels like I'm walking through a wall. I don't want to kick anything. And it's cold. This is, I think, the most I ever felt down here. This. Ooh, I feel, um, my arms feel tingly. Is that you? Is that your presence I'm feeling? My left hand is going numb. Yeah, it's cooler over here. Yeah, it is cooler. Oh, 
Oh, my left hand's going numb. Oh. I'm going to stress you will not and cannot follow us home from here anymore. And you will not torture Gail or any other occupant in this house anymore. Okay, so now I really can't see. Do something. Show me what you can do. guys, same thing, live EVP, starting now. Is there anything you'd like to say to us before we leave? <sighs> Speak into this. Come on, get some word. somebody bring you here. What do you want with Gail? to be our last time here, you have to tell us. We're not messing around no more. We'll do whatever it takes to get rid of you. Did somebody bring you here?
do you want with Gail? Where do those come from? What? Those weren't down here. There's nothing. I don't have anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I say too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember dropping them. Oh, I dropped it when we first came. Oh. I don't understand how they're going to get out of there. That's, That's what I mean. Thing. So, okay, so we just found Chris's batteries to his light, headlamp. And was, this piece just came off, like, when I just got down here. That's been sitting in his pocket, and as soon as I turned the lights back on... That has to unclip. His batteries were here. Three batteries sitting there. And they're, they're not in... That wasn't, yeah. They're not in his... Through his hand, they were on the floor. No, it was sealed. <laughs> it was tight. Huh. Okay. Yeah, because you have to like. Yeah, it takes some force. But that, yeah, that was not. When I picked it up, I didn't have to close it again. No. Yeah, it was all closed up and locked up. Okay. And that so something that would have to take it or unhook that from your pocket, inside your pocket. Yeah. And pull the batteries out and close it back up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna wrap things up here again. I'm gonna we're gonna go home see if we caught anything on video, audio. The SLS cam has been sitting in Gail's room since we've come down here. So if anything is caught on that, <clears throat> I will uh, include it in this video. If not, you won't see me. So if Gail calls us back, we will come back. Hopefully um, her torment will stop. She's been going through it long enough. Uh, we are going to bring someone in again to help her probably won't film that because we have uh, a couple other locations we have to go to as long as i know that someone's here helping her um, we're good with that uh, people we trust thanks for being patient and waiting as my toes healed up <laughs> yeah. yeah chris had quite the fall so it kind of set us back um, but uh, we're not we're not stopping you guys know that anyway if you like the video hit the thumbs up and let us know what you think and if you guys here see anything let us know thanks a lot guys and we'll see you on the next one get your heart on <laughs>